Now it's time to open the vault of strange deaths. And let's see what we have first of all. They were just cute monkeys. Oh, this pertains to the deputy mayor of New Delhi, India. He's on the first floor balcony of his apartment when several rhesus monkeys, you know, they're cute little things, came up and started trying to bite him. And he was so frightened that he fell off. Now, falling one story should hurt you, but he fell on his head and died. Little cute rhesus monkeys killed the deputy mayor of India. How about that? Of New Delhi, India. Let's see what we have here. He needed a wig. This pertains to Aeschylus, the father of Greek drama. As a young man, he was told by a seer that he would die by a strike from heaven. Well, for years he walked around looking up in the sky. Nothing happened. Then, in 456 B.C., when he was 69, he was out in the field, and an eagle flew over carrying a tortoise in its mouth. The tortoise saw Aeschylus' bald head, mistook it for a walk, dropped the tortoise, on his head trying to crack it open. We don't, I don't know if it cracked open the tortoise, but it cracked open Aeschylus' head and he died literally from a strike from heaven. He needed a wig. So what we have here? Oh, this is the vault. This is the wine vault. And this is refers to a winery worker up in Lodi, California, whose boss told him to check the fluid levels in a huge wine vat. But when he opened the hatch, he tripped and fell in and drowned in wine. Now, I don't know if we have any winery workers in among our audience members, but if so, and your boss tells you to check the fluid levels in the wine vat, tell him, do it yourself, buddy. And if he gives you any flack, any flack whatsoever, refer him to me, and I'll put him in his place. Now, here we have an obit from the paper, and this pertains to a woman in New Zealand. She was 76, dying of cancer, so she placed her own obituary in the paper, and it read in part, by the time you read this, I will be dead. And sure enough, she was dead, beyond belief. Now my goal is to make this the greatest show on death in the history of television. Now, until next time, may the power of the cosmos be with you.